Yo guys, it's Robinson here. Wanted to go over something with you. I know um, on my Instagram where a lot of you should be following me because that's where I spend most of my time posting stuff. Um, I just like Instagram better. Uh, it's quicker and easier for me to post something um, instead of having to sit there and filter, or not filter, edit videos and do all this type of stuff or do voiceovers or anything. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions. How is my, either what happened to or how is my approach or my success going towards getting a 600 pound deadlift? That particular goal is on hold right now. Um, I've been having, as I was getting close, I don't know, like I said, if you've watched my Instagram, my max deadlift I got all the way up from, the highest I ever pulled was like a 525 or 535. Excuse me, fix this camera angle here. Oh, jeez, what a mess. Um, I got like a 525 or 535. I got all the way up to 575 successfully. And then I went to pull like a 585. And I tried that for like two or three months in a row. I think it was like two two blocks in a row. Jesus, camera's not working well today. Um, and I could I got it to like my knees and then just could never get it to lock out. So I continued, I was continuing to work on some things, doing some like deficit deadlifts, things like that to help strengthen some of my weak points. Cause for me, my weakest point of the deadlift is usually off the floor. Um, most of the time I'd say, you know, 98 to 99% of the time, if I get it to about my knees, I can lock it out. Um, 585 is the first time where I wasn't able to do it. So, um, I was having some issues with inflammation in my right knee and my right hip. Uh, I think due to some of the knee injuries and imbalances I have, I think my right side uh, was taking a lot more of a beating than I knew. And obviously, the higher, Jesus, this camera angle, um, the higher the weights start to become, the more those imbalances start to be noticed. Um, so I kept working on some things, obviously, to try to keep strengthening my deadlift. But as I was trying to work through some of those weaknesses that I had, my right hip and my right knee were just like inflamed as shit. So I decided to back off for a little while um, and then just work with some, you know, do some singles and stuff, work around, you know, just at a lighter percentage of my one rep max uh, so I can keep some strength but let the inflammation heal um, and things like that. But now as, as the right hip and right knee have healed, for the past two weekends, and my lower back has just been really, really stiff, and I've been working through just warming up properly, stretching, foam rolling, things like that. Um, but it just hasn't seemed to be working. And then this past week, literally out of nowhere, um, on Wednesday, my lower, not my lower back, but I say more like my my middle back, like the middle of my back, I can feel a lot of twinging and stuff going on. Nothing really, really painful, but just odd. Um, there was no apparent reason that that should be happening. Like I didn't injure my back. Um, I didn't go for like a one rep max or something like that. I've been staying away from, you know, uh, I would say like I've been staying below 85% of my one rep max, things like that. And it's just like spasming. I can feel it and it's strange. So I, this just happens, guys. These are training injuries. Um, you know, I don't know what's going on. I have had a lot of different things going on between working on my house to get ready for my uh, for my kid to arrive, you know, getting the baby furniture in the room, things like that, painting, uh, assembling desks because I finally got my home office together. Um, and I don't know if maybe that's why my back is all jacked, just being at some weird angles, you know, moving some stuff and putting some things together. I don't know, but whatever the case may be. So. For those of you who are worried or think that I quit, I didn't really quit. I've just had some setbacks, and uh, I will work through them eventually. And when I get to 600, you guys will be the first to know. All right, I'll talk to you later.